I had a hysterectomy. I kept my ovaries, but I had um, my uterus and my tubes taken out. The reason for that is because I had horrendous fibroids and it got to the point where I was bleeding all the time to the point where I was anemic. And that also affected so that I was 49, <laughs> right? I was 49. So that was towards the end of my 40s. But I had been suffering from the fibroids for, gosh, I would say at least three years, right? Four years. I was suffering from the bleeding, the intense bleeding. Um, I'm laughing. I don't want to get shot at here. But I I'm, know. I'm laughing because men could never handle this. No. Everything you just described, I'm like, oh, God. No. It's good to be a guy. Right. I know. I know. crazy. Men could never. <laughs> no, they couldn't. But no. So the so because of the fibroids, I was having such heavy bleeding that I was anemic. It was affecting. I There was times I was in bed and I couldn't get out because I had such horrible cramps. Um, I Again, so when I was a kid and I had my period, I would get such horrible cramps. I would have to leave school sometimes. I would have to, to have muscle relaxers. Um, I think that was hormone related. Um, this was like that. It was so bad. And I would be weak. I wouldn't be able to participate in as many things. It was affecting my life. I could have done an ablation, but in if that's where they burn the inside of your uterus, yeah, basically, good, yeah. and you stop bleeding, the risk there is if it stops working after a couple yeah, of years, yeah. you still have to get a hysterectomy. Yeah. I just went for the hysterectomy, but I wanted, I said, keep my ovaries. If there's nothing wrong with them, keep my ovaries. Um, I don't want to go into menopause yet. Not knowing I was already in perimenopause because even then I still, five years ago, I didn't know what I know now. Yeah. Um, but I still wanted to hold on to natural hormones as long as possible. So for me, I won't have any proof of tw not having a period for 12 consecutive months. That's my point. For me, I will know I'm in menopause when I ha don't really have any estrogen anymore through lab work. And I believe my last lab work showed I'm in, I'm in menopause. Mm. 